Okay, after buying my um, my 2012 Volt, um, I kind of ran into problems where you can't really charge it fast enough with a um, with uh, with the conventional 120 volt charger. So I was kind of sitting around. Most people said that you cannot convert the uh, the standard 120 volt charger into a 240 volt. But um, kind of came up with a with a solution. I kind of bought one of those round Voltec um, chargers. Yeah, I was kind of staring at that. I took them both apart. And I looked and saw that the boards were basically the exact same thing. So what I did was I converted it. I converted the 120 volt into a um, 240 volt charger by just swapping out the um, the cards out of it. So this video basically shows that how to convert your um, 110 into a 240. All right, a couple of tools that you're going to need for uh, for the conversion are. Uh, uh, flat bladed screwdriver something with a wide head on it uh, when you uh, remove the, the top cover uh, drill bit uh, this one was a 7 30 seconds um, but you could have used a one quarter bit it's not really critical and you're going to need a cutoff wheel uh, to cut the plastic with uh, Dremel of course um, this particular head actually uh, has a uh, little uh, biting teeth on it so it would uh, when you remove plastic you're going to see that being used screwdrivers you're going to need two types these small ones work the best um, Phillips and flathead wire cutters a pair of snips there you go that's the these are the tools that you're going to need for the uh, for the project. All right, guys. Now what we have here, we're going to show you how to take the uh, the face plate off of the um, 120 volt charger. All right, so we're going to have here Dr. Houston uh, remove the uh, the face plate off. And I'll show you how that's done. That's it. All it is, all it is holding it on is just a very thin uh, uh, sonic weld that's holding it together. Uh, the next step would be to remove this little cord that's uh, attached to the uh, to the circuit board here. So with the, with the needle nose plier, you just reach in there and you can do it by hand as well and you just pull it out and you separate the top from the bottom. Okay, the next step that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to remove the, this uh, circuit board from in here. So the way you do the the way you remove that circuit board, it's actually there are four screws uh, on each corner. I don't know if you can quite see in there, but there's uh, one here, one here, and then two at the back. The two in the back they come off pretty easy. Phillips screwdriver. This one does as well. But the one underneath here, uh, you'll see here in a little bit how we have to drill a hole in the top so you can get the screw, the screwdriver in to it. So. Uh, the screws, you got four screws. Uh, this is what they look like after they've been removed. Okay, and the last one that's tricky, it's way up underneath here. Um, it's underneath this little bar right here. So we're gonna have to drill a hole right here, and you can see that here in a second. And that will allow us access to, uh, to the secondary, uh, to the last screw. All right. And the trick is you do have to use a really, really thin screwdriver. Otherwise, you will not be able to get in there past the cord. There you go. That's it. And that's how you remove the last screw. The next thing that we got to cut is the uh, these little plastic things that hold the... Uh, you do that with just a pair of wire snips. next step we're going to do is uh, cut the wires so we can get the uh, the board out. 
real quick here uh, the way that we're going to connect these um, to the board itself um, all the color combinations stay the same white still goes to white black still goes to black purple uh, black with the with the purple stripe goes with the back of the purple stripe on uh, on the board itself as you can see that here you'll see that uh, at the end here once once we have it all connected the only one that's going to be different it was going to be the the white one the white goes with the red on the 220 volt um, uh, adapter. I'm doing the cut about uh, three quarters of an inch to add let plenty of uh, wire so I can actually plug it in so right about there there and there there and there. On this side there there and this already has plenty so there you go there's two more screws that you have to remove before the uh, the board comes out And the doctor's in. Ah, it's got a little C clamp. Yeah, that's just you can just Uh, the only thing left to do now is uh, to take this little uh, raised area in here. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it, as you'll see here in a little bit, because you cannot put the new board in until you remove that right there. Doctor, light, please. Sponge. Next, we're going to pull out the uh, 220. the 220 uh, board and uh, install the um, 120. Pull harder. Kidding. All right, this is what, what the um, car portion of it looks like, pretty much uh, as it is. 
green to green, uh, white goes to red, solid black to solid black, gray with the purple uh, stripe with it goes to gray and purple stripe. So you can see it right there. And then uh, black with the purple stripe goes to the black with the purple stripe. That's the power cable out of the uh, 120. And the um, power cable. Okay, here we are. Uh, we'll try plugging it in and see what happens. See if we can fry my car. Of course, it's my car that we're using. Green, red, click. Light works. It's yellow. 120 volts. All right, what we've done here is we um, stuck uh, about uh, six feet of, uh, of cord through and we siliconed it in uh, for waterproofing. This is actually the, the most critical part. If these things are not crimped properly, um, uh, they will overheat on you. I did have uh, one overheat on me and it actually started burning um, because I did not crimp it properly. Didn't have it uh, tight enough uh, around the, uh, the copper wire. So it actually heats up and it will burn the, uh, the plastic. All the wires have been crimped, um, black with uh, the purple stripe with the black of the purple, gray with the purple stripe uh, to the gray with the purple, red goes to white, green to green, black to black. Uh, same thing here on this side. It's um, white, to, uh, white to red, black to black, and green to green. Alright, so what we're doing now is uh, we're shrinking the, uh, the shrink wrap around each individual uh, uh, cable so we can uh, waterproof it. All right, and uh, we have the other board back in place. Uh, all four screws have been uh, reinstalled, and uh, that's it. All, all is left to do now is just uh, put a bead of, uh, of silicone like this all the way around uh, the perimeter and putting, the, um, putting the, uh, the lid back on with some tape and letting it dry overnight. Of course uh, these holes too, I have to fill these up with silicone as well. But uh, Doctor? Doctor? The light still works? It does. Alright. Yellow. Huh? Hundred and twenty volts. Look at that. The button on the uh, on the amper thing no longer works. So that's the only thing that's not gonna only feature that will not uh, carry over is that. Okay, here we are. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna unplug my uh, charger here. Oh, by the way, uh, we did make this. We had some leftover cord. We made this out of a uh, uh, for uh, for the 240 uh, cord plug. So plug that in. The self test. I'm a genius. Where is it? There's two forty. Doctor, you're a genius. <laughs>